Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over everything T1 Zeus did during the world's 2023 championship. Without further delay, let's dive straight into the action. Well, not going to be able to catch up. TL with three man strong here in the mid lane against the three of T1. Oh, the flash forward from Zeus is going to be scattered. APA doesn't have a flash of his own though as the shockwave was looking to grab Pyoshik, but that will get the free kill. On the Syndra, if he's not able to make his way out. Daring escapes before, but without Flash, Ariana doesn't exactly have too many methods. And now, the TL Baron that we were just talking about, they're going to consider it here. The rest of T1 are in the area. Faker has teleport. There's 30 seconds on TL to make this play. And if they can lock this down, it could be a huge advantage for them. They need to keep Owner out of this pit, though, as APA, he's going down low. Core JJ looking for his opportunity. Can he play bounce? So they get him out of the pit. And it's going to be Pyoshik that locks down the Baron. Can they win the fight? Though is the question. Hostile takeover gets the kill, utilizing Yun to kill APA. It's a disaster for TL. And Zeus, he knows it. He's flashing over walls. Yun's going to be able to pick up one, though, with these Chakrams. I have a feeling that that might be all he's going to be able to get. But let's see what he can do here. Uses the last of his mana on the Moonshot. And uh, yeah, he's in an alcove. And I don't know whether he's getting out unless it's via the Death Chamber. So there it is. Going to be the play the fights correctly. And I think as well, that's why Karyat also going for Radiant Virtue here on the uh, Renata. Trying Fair. to build oh. the most Ekinus. Scatter the weak trying to come forward here. Summit just that's by himself, line. finds himself. A kill the Magnus Storm under three. It's gigantic and Summit's going all out. He's going to get out of the fight as well with Kumiyushi. He's taken down Yun already. JJ, both of them are going to go golden. And it's T1 that just roll over the top of TL. And even Summit will not be allowed to escape as Kumiyushi looking to chase after him. He's got the ward in the brush. Push the wave, recall, and now be on the way to Rift Herald, which wouldn't give C9 time to kill it. 2v2 at the top side. The Equalizer getting some big value. And now Owner is going to join up with this one. As they do want to extend this play, but not sure if they want to overextend as Fen has come on in. And the Black Drag goes in out to the Rakan. His owner just doesn't give a damn. He has Karia behind him, gets him in the death chamber. Oh, as the ultimate man. comes out and everybody is going down on the side of C9 in the top lane. T1 just burning them to a crisp in the top lane. Well, that will be four kills for T1 now in this early game. Yeah, maybe it's showboating, I'm not sure. Owner in a little bit of trouble as he does have some help from his squad, but he is going to be able to get away. Blabber gets hooked by the feathers, and now there's a massive equalizer on the entirety of C1. Just trying to, C9 rather, trying to retreat out of this one. That's a huge play comes out from Kyria, and they've turned this one around, and even the tower can't get into this one, as Kyria will disable that. This might just be a clean ace going into the hands of T1, and that it is. Nobody will fall on the side of T1. An insane the win here. Lane leading alongside Faker, they are identical right now. And he's only at 13 CS. The Senna doing wonders for T1. Yeah. Total damage. Zay is topping those charts, but it's pretty easy to do when you're Nara against the melee. Flashing forward. Mega Nara into the wall. Wallop. Rock toss. One more hit. He'll do it. Zayas solo kills. Bin. The minions will do enough work on the inhibitor human the top side themselves. Zay is about ready to transform. Magnet Storm was used for a whole lot of nothing. Owner's got Yagao locked down, but Owner's gonna drop instead. They'll trade him back for the mid laner, and Shun falls too. Now it's two inhibitors down, and a 4v3 for T1. The souls are all over the place, but they're the souls of BLG players, as T1 is not stopping here. Elk may have been the one to take out Owner, but now the push just keeps going. Zayas will grab another on Bin as Elk has the killer instinct right back into his own fountain. He flashes away just to live. <laughs> T1 just stop BLG in game one. Connects now. Baker gonna be in trouble, but again, there's no follow-up damage here. Oriana just sitting pretty. Thank you very much, Tarzan. That was terrible. And now what the oh. hell? T1! They're living wretch free in the heads of LNG. They have a timeshare there, and they're just now cashing in. Coming, so the fight is going to be on. Have to be careful about locking themselves in the pit. Keep your eyes on Guma if he gets to the back line. Owner now stepping forward. Dragon Soul stolen, and now it's Guma Yushi looking to tear through the entire team. Goes golden right to the back it's line. Like, huh? Continuing to step up, but Zeka needs to be the difference maker. Zeka needs to hold on, but there are too many members free firing into the Gwen. Zeus stands strong on the backside of the fight, taking down. 
out so many members on the side of LNG. And Zika tries heroically, but it's not enough to... Dude, you lost topside around these engages at Herald, around this engage in mid lane. Your bot lane in the 2v2 doesn't really stand much of a chance. Your perma pushed in. So even once this Blitzcrank got out of lane, there wasn't much recourse for him. And T1 on the push. Zayus may be in trouble. Zayus off to the side, but LNG has to be careful about overcommitting. Zayus still just taunting them, teasing them. Blitzcrank, can the hook come out? Cataclysm locking him in. They will connect, but he pulls it back upon the Osis. Gumayushi ascending to godhood in that moment as LNG are torn to shreds. T1 too far ahead. They make it look effortless. It's a clean ace for T1. Baker shockwaves the minions just to speed up the demise of LNG. For the Infernum ultimate. Owner a little bit chunked here, and Hong's looking for that angle. They're going to try to pinch Zayus. Dragon resetting a little bit here. Both sides backing away. It's just a battle of poke. Both sides hoping to bait the other one into pressing the trigger. The charm now coming through. Will it be enough to lock down Zayus? No is the answer. Scout given to the Aatrox as tribute, and now Gala's in trouble. T1 coming alive. They see the window of opportunity. They see the weakness in the armor of LNG, and they tear it asunder. There is no room left in the fight. T1 will take everything they want in this game, too. Hung, a last desperate effort, but the TP's coming mid. I mean, that's gonna be game. They're gonna throw for the end. T1 put LNG in a lose-lose position. Tarzan has been on the back foot right from the get-go, allowing Zayus to play basically an isolated 1v1, which with the Jace, Baker he's always going to win. In the darkness, coming through the pushback onto Zayus to the skies, dunked down, and T1 just running the rift. His owner going to be chasing down Tarzan. He's got to run. Scout pushing out that tier one bot, but... Zooming in. Alti goes a little bit wide, but the second half of the root on the Chain of Corruption will catch. Owner wants to keep this 1v1 going. Scout now retreating. Scout now coming in. Stun goes in. The pullback nice Cancel. from Scout. Buying a bit more time. And now again, the follow-up. The steadfast presence. And who is steadfast if not T1 in the face of elimination? Three back-to-back -back clean early games as they fight against LNG. And the only saving grace there is Faker ends up going down. Free yep. Drakes. This early on is Tarzan. Tarzan. That's your side of the rift, Zeus. Oh, Back away, Gala off to the side. He can root up two. Follow up Otto's there. Roots. No, this is buying a bit more time with the hostile takeover. Now they're now autoing each other. They're just killing each other. LNG, the fight instantly turned to beautiful carry up, but Scout can't get the damage. It is not enough. A unhit Varus, Azir with Nashers, and a monster fat Jace. And Zeus, full confidence play. There's no reason he needs to do that. But he does it anyway! Zayus puts Zika six feet under and he's looking to seal the... But T1, it doesn't look like the pressure's getting him whatsoever. Feels like a victory march down the mid lane. Inhibitor knocked down. Again, T1 taking their time, don't need to overcommit. They have the waves on their side, they have the soul on their side, the gold lead, every advantage they could want. No reason to risk anything. It is slow, it is steady, it's controlled, it is massive damage. Gala firing back with the Inferno Multi just to generate a little bit of space, but Scout getting chunks down. Don't even need a wave, just tearing through the tower as life bars shrink on the side of JDG, or LNG, excuse me. Ridiculous, it's like 20 shock blasts in a row that this guy has hit. He's monster fed, and he is just having them Handshake downloaded. Handshake back, connected down to the walls. They is firing up with so much damage down. Go Zika, the pushback is massive. And it's the God of Thunder. He loves his lightning champions, and Jace was always his most iconic. And in this final game, Zayus shows why he still pulls it out. The final push now, LNG, one last desperate hold. But they've got nothing left. And even as every other LCK team falls away, Faker stays standing. T1 stays standing. The last light of the LCK burns bright and Busan as they head to the semifinals. We all obviously find it out soon, it's as soon as Kanavi game. figures it out, but the timing window might just be there. It's perfect for the setup. Three, six, now nine. they know! Total control of the lane, but just now sees Owner. Owner mounting up on the way in, looking to lock him up and take him out. 369 still standing for now. Will he burn the flash or just accept his fate? Trying instead to turn and burn on Zayas, get a little bit more health damage. Just accepts his fate. First blood for the side of T1, Knight and Kanavi, not able
able to find the counter punch in mid lane. I guess from JDG, because you know T1 is going to try and aggressively stack dragons, but they won't have the opportunity. We do see Knight already here. Doesn't look like T1 is going to be able to contest the streak. Tayu's going for the solo bolo, and he just gets the kill! What? That He's is, that is. Favored, but Zayas setting the expectation on its head and 369 just too far behind stepping far nice. too far forward yeah. q uh one confirms the pullback on infernal chains makes it easy yeah just dash forward hits the chain he had the level six advantage gets the solo bolo and contest here no clash for carrier has to be a bit careful about how far forward he steps kanavi ready with the ultimate zeo strong getting low but opted for lethality he's still relatively squishy all things considered Zayas still stepping forward to the Infernal Chain, looking for the lockup. Tempered Fate now coming in, isolating Knight. Knight right in the back line, and owner immediately with the follow-up engage. Zayas still standing. Now finally the buy is going in, but it might just be too little too late. Knight, <laughs> Zayas CV to the back of the fight. Burn. Zayas ticking, burning, but the shutdown is 369. But now they're just fish caught in the barrel, waiting on the slaughter of the curtain call. T1 stepping in. They force all of their flashes over the back of the pit and then still chase down two of the kills. You pick it, you know, like we said in Champ Select, there's no pure big tank on the enemy team. Temper Fate stack there. a bunch of armor. Should be an easy fob. Now Carrier taking his time, waiting for the wall to try to line it up. He doesn't even need to! Zayas' damage is disgusting. And crucial there, look at the timing on 369 flash. Just a couple of seconds later. From the Akali, Knight in the area now. T1 maybe just gonna fish for the pick here. Already got one advantage. Tempered Fade onto Kanavi is big. The lineup is there. Zayo's immediately gonna look to knock him down. Can they find it? Kanavi now going right back into Zayo's owner in the area. Gig damage coming in for the Darkened Blade. Missing on the backside, trying to buy some space. But the Shockwave is clean! And in comes the curtain call! And it's Zayus wreaking havoc on all of JDG! To finish the fight, T1 looking to break over the base of JDG. That's a clean aim. Immediately, T1 have something to say about it. From start to finish, they have been in the driver's seat from the creative pathing in the early game of Owner Ten to shut seconds. down 369. T1 have their eyes on the prize, and the prize alone, a spot in the finals, or at least one game closer. T1 showing up massive in this first game, missing and Kanavi should not be enough the nexus lower and lower t1 drawing first blood in this series in fighting slowly diligently eyes on carry eyes on the hostile takeover to maybe be the difference maker in this fight zeus on the flank faker over the wall objective getting lower and lower the weaver's wall coming out isolating owner might go for the 50 50 but it's absolutely psycho flashes over the arrow faker oh! goes in it's incredibly clean jdg with the counter punch can they get anything back ruler on touch on the Side dragon still standing, but owner will take that away too. My god, what an engage from T1! Owner, you and oh, Zayas, Zayas. going in on a ruler, That's ruler a caught spot. shopping. Oh no, and he gets the dust blade. It's too damn clean. Kanavi trying to get something back, but it might be too little, too late. The flick back coming in. T1C, their window of opportunity preserved. Both ADs just hitting each other. Knight now running. T1 taking the exchange. They can turn right towards Baron. Kanavi has no health. That's the ruler spot. That man has been caught there so many times. And now T1 trying to start up the Baron. We'll see if they can take it. Kanavi, he's healing up. No trying flash. his best. He tried to clone over the wall. The Weaver's wall through the midst of everything. Yeah, vision. T1 focused on the objective. They have the Ren Smite combo. There is no reason they should give this up, but Kanavi might might just be able to take it. They're now trying to burst it down. The push over the wall doesn't connect, but it does not matter. T1 get the objective. Kanavi into the pen, and he will get taken down. 369 forced to run for the hills. Available. The Ash can find an angle. It can all fall apart. Zayas. Not out a bit here. Forced to retreat. Dragon. Objective. Getting lower. Weaver's wall bringing Knight into the fight. The entire team split. Arrow. Arrow going wide. That's massive. 369 going to pit, trying to isolate and take out the jungler. T1 now need to turn. It's the hostile takeover connecting. Who can get the objective? And the steal coming through in time for Kanavi. But the fight is not done. Missing on the backside. Vulnerable on his lonesome. But JDG pulling back slowly. Surely they have no jungler, but they have the objective. T1 desperate to get more. They know they need to get something here. Pushing in. 369 over the wall. Knight continuing to poke. It's diligent. It is controlled. 369 now going in, forcing out the ultimate. Missing has been caught out. Missing will go down. The flash buying a bit more time, buying a bit more space, but he will get killed. It is only a matter of time. Zeus finishing up the fight. A sitting duck for an Azir shuffle.
Absolutely is. Oh. I think maybe similar story for 369 on the bottom side. T1 just need to weather the storm. And the heal is good in lane, but once you get out, it is very tough not to have the cleanse. Davis on the flank. Davis on the side. TP coming in. Faker looking to make the play. Oh. He gets ruler. Odor goes in. And again, the combos are clean. The hostile takeover is damn well hostile. T1 looking to leave no survivors alive. 369 defense the entire team will get absolutely nothing. T1 what? in the clutch are too damn clean. Nice. Navi starting to heal up, has the red buff yeah, taking. Contest. There's no room for JDG to contest this one. The Herald gonna be immediately dropped mid. Karius still has the ulti to deny the charge, but JDG barreling in. A lot of members here might be able to break the tower anyway. Still, they're gonna break it. 369 caught up. Oh! Kuma Yushi can he go in for the counter engage? The flash out. Karius flashing forward, will not connect on the stun. Faker on the flank. Herald still there. Void Ramora still there. Zayas finds the knockup. He finds two, but there's no follow up. He gets out the Lulu wall. Kanavi now stepping in. Knight there. Shock oh. comes back. The counter punch from JDG is too damn much, but T1 are still standing. T1 are still firing back. It's a one for one. Two. Boom is here, but. What is he gonna get done? Now trying to lock them up, has flash out to safety. Owner buying a bit more space for Guma, but they're being forced to retreat. TP already used. Zayas waiting over the wall, trying to find the jungler. It feels personal how many times this man has managed to survive, but the fate is sealed of Kanavi. T1 managed to punish in the mid lane. He's gonna move on up here as Zayas is gonna break those chains. Carry is looking for that handshake. Angle is already the Shy has done a fair bit of damage, but I don't think it is going to be enough as it's Alco gaming for the Shy and he will go down. Owner is there at all as Crisp is under the turret. They throw down Harold, but Zayas has found two with the ultimate life. Goes down so low, but isn't going to survive. Weiwei trying to get himself out of there, and the Shy is given up on. Weiwei running the wrong direction, but they at least get the dragon. Incredibly difficult to deal with them. They become incredibly tanky. And one of the most underrated parts about this is how tanky it actually makes the cannon minions. They become very difficult to actually wave clear out. It allows oh, you to harass Guma. your opponent, but Guma. Could be in a bit run. of trouble here as Crisp looks for it. The immediate cleanse does get out of the way. Nature's Cross isn't going to connect, but there is a twisted advance. Hostile takeover across everyone, though, but the Shy is just gigantic. Guma trying to hop away. The fate's called the knockups. And meanwhile, Weiwei is going down. Baker collects it before falling down. Shreds, Weibo lying on the floor now as T1 look to tidy up Chris. The goal before this was to even Weibo picked up the dragon, but after this fight, multiple goal, uh, kills going over the T1. Baron secured. He is just going to kill that thing so fast. They're going to start Baron at the same time. They're just going to start it up. I think at this point, T1 feel that they can do everything at once. And Weibo, you've got to make a stand now. There's just no way from this position you can give up a free Baron. There as well. He's still going to look for that reset angle, and now with the Baron buff in tow, T1 feel like they don't need a reset to try and break open the base of Weibo here in Game 1 of the Finals. Nature's Grasp flying forward, Ona still has that GA, oh. remember Chris going down so incredibly low, Zayas just executes the Chai up to the side, and there is another one, this guy's Yone is just absurd, and the inhibitor is going to go down, Weiwei is burning there as well, as now Xiao who tries to be the hero, but it does not work out, and I think T1 are just going to end game one here. And the early game, T1 not able to get a bunch of crucial kills, but they don't let it face them. They are able to find the one. Having a jungler that can enable you. As I say, that owner is in top. Yeah, Zayas dashing forward. The needlework is out. Snip, snip. Going to connect, but doesn't do too much. And in goes Ona. The flash oh! out oh, was incredible from the Shy. Ona gets taken down to, oh my goodness, about one health. But will be able to walk away. But I don't think he's going to be excited about ganking the Shy anytime soon. Although what? Zayas is just going to go. Will not be an easy dive here. He is healthy and he's got the ultimate back. They're going to look for it, though. Yeah, we'll see what he can get done here. The Flash Twisted Advance comes in, and now Zayas just trying to do what he can to stay alive. It's working! And he is going to be able to dash back towards the minions. Now Faker turns up. He's got his own nature's grasp, but Shaohu is going to join this one, and Zayas is running the wrong direction. We'll see how much time he's going to be able to buy here, because maybe this is an execute as he heads toward the turret, and there it is! Oh! they've been chasing with Zayas showing up so far. Yeah, another teleport to come in here as they do manage to secure this Rift Herald. We'll see where the Weibo can get themselves out of here. Light gonna be hostile takeover, but he's the only one. And now Zayas looking for the target. Faker dives in though as well. He's gonna collect the first with the help of Ona. Prior to it. Snip, snip, snip. And oh down goes the turret. That is the first one. It's gonna be spotted, but he does put that ward down. That is going to get there. 
The Drake going down very, very low, and now the paranoia comes in. Vega looks for the Sphere Rush, and he does find it. The Hostile Takeover is massive as they get rid of Light immediately. Weiwei taken down for the double kill for Ona. Xiaohu now trying to get some damage in the back, and it does take down the Nocturne, but it's Chris fighting on the bottom side of the map for Kumiuchi. And their comfort is working out so well. Oh, paranoia comes in once again as the flash out from the Shy may not be enough. They're under the turret. Ona was tanking it up. And Zayas is going to finish it in a turret, should now be next on the clock. And because the rest of T1 is standing go down very, very low, there's the paranoia as they look to try and burst down the Baron. They do collect it, and now the hijacked ultimate comes through from Baker. Now Zayas dives in, he's taken matters into his own hands. He hasn't taken any damage, Wei Wei has to run away. He gets thrown back by the Bramble Smash, but the damage is already being done. Baker goes gold and does have to flash as Light's doing a fair bit of work with these Rens into the back line. But T1 just took a Baron and they got five out. A bit of poke damage, Light will turn up. As four members are here, teleport event not available for the Shy, but they dive in, the turret goes down, the needlework just rips the center to shreds, and Zayas just by himself destroying everyone. Hostile takeover comes in, Light has the cleanse, but you can't cleanse death, it's a triple kill for Zayas, and they'll get to work on the inhibitor. It might just be the game right here. Zayas playing like his namesake, Extraordinary as this helps clear up this second Nexus turn and T1 at match point. Oh. There's the flash Q3 from Zayas. The Shy is in trouble. The lightning rush is on cooldown. He gets slowed down by the cripple and the Q's gonna land. Ona secures it and that is first. Situations. Oh, Q going to connect there. Nice little knockup as Carrier tries to find it. There's the quickness on to two. The kick gets the knockup onto Xiaohu. The Empress of Might only gets Ona, but that will get him out. But Weiwei's not gonna be so lucky. The Shy got he breaks the chains, but is he still going to be able to get out? Kumiyushi decides he wants to fight light towards the bottom side. That was the right call. Zayas grabs the double kill, and Weibo lose out on the fight. And while the laning setup is there this time around for Weibo, the early game looking a lot better. Pretty safe now on that back line. Look at Karia, though. It's so hard for Weibo to walk up because Karia is on that sideline. They know he's there. Yeah, he flashes in. He finds himself the charm on the four is there. The ultimate from the shy, but it just doesn't quite do enough. They try and get out, but Fika has the perfect execution and locks down his fellow ninja. Xiaohu now taking a whole lot of damage, and Faker is in the shroud. He's toying with them. It's a double kill. What? Oh, and back in again. It's a triple for Faker. Zayas is going to be out of block down the next one. Faker eventually because he had the stopwatch anyway, and now the cavalry comes in. Chris, the next to go down. Wei Wei, he's under a turret. Oh. Is on top, the lethal Aatrox gonna get it done, and T1, they feel like it's Baron time. It's the king at home. They're gonna get the next Baron, and they're gonna win the series in Carrier. Gonna get knocked up here as Ona comes on over. He's here to protect his support. The quickness ties them all up, and Xiaohu going to be the next target. He finds two with the Empress Divide, but Crisp just evaporates. Wei Wei going to suffer the same fate as Zayas is on the warpath light. Able to sidestep, finds the chains of corruption, but there's not enough damage. Xiaohu decent flash to try and get himself out, but he's not out of the woods yet as Faker tidies up that kill, and they are just so far ahead. Ona secures light with a sonic wave, and the Shy finds himself alone heading back towards his base. That's the double kill. That's the clean ace for T1. And T1! Weibo try, won't even get that. It's heartbreaking as now they take a magical journey over. Zayas, he likes this one though. One versus three, he's absorbing so much. The Empress Divide, it comes in, but he's still alive. What? what is going on? Baker tidies up the first. Everyone's just exploding. As Weiwei trying to get something done, but it does not matter. T1 are too strong. Oh, uh, call an ambulance, call an ambulance. But not for me. Four times T1 has lost in a pain five. Four times they've been knocked out. And four times they have got back up for this moment. It was seven years since their last, a decade since their first ESKT legacy has been reignited. T1 will be your 2023 world champions. Congratulations.
여기까지 이렇게 월즈 우승에 이어서 Congratulations, Zeus. 나눠보겠습니다. Zeus, Zeus, you won Worlds, and, worlds and you won the finals MVP. Uh, Were you expecting this? Last year, my opponent laner won finals MVP, and I was watching him winning the finals MVP in the backstage. It was another year of me ending up being a, being a runner-up. I was like, well, this happened again, but I was like, maybe if I just keep working hard, there will be my moment. And somehow, I was able to make it happen in the end. I want to say thank you to my friends and family and also Khan who helped me so much during Asian Games. And also, of course, T1 and my players. And also, Bengi, who used to be the head coach of T1. And also, Zeus, would you like to say anything to the fans? I played so many leagues this year, it was really hard. But thanks to your support, I was able to keep myself motivated. I will make sure to always show the best performance possible for my fans. Thank you for watching until the end. These were some of the best Zeus moments from Worlds 2023. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.